All right, Fud Fighter, right now we're hanging out on um, Glassnode where we're looking at some actual on chain data for Ethereum. For me, that's what really matters. Like, technicals are cool. I, mean, I look at support, I look at resistance, I look at price action, but I really love on chain data because it tells a story if you know what to look for, right? So, this will be a quick video, but let's just jump in and have a look at um, the first thing I care about on chain. I go to core on chain data and I look at what the actual um, circulating supply. Of, of any project is. So as you can see right here, what I'm looking at is that we got a, a, steadily, a steadily rising circulating supply of Ethereum all the way back from 2019 up to now. I'll tell you why. Um, it's because of proof of work, which I'll be doing a video on later. The way that proof of work actually functions is that you have miners who go in and mine more Ethereum, then they dump it immediately onto the open market so they can actually get their money right it's a total cash business but it creates inflation inside of ethereum as you can see throughout the years it's been steadily rising if i went back further we'll see it go up even more but the good news on that and i'll show you a little bit on that when we look at eve 2.0 in a second is that um with eip 1559 going in and burning a lot of the gas fees as well as proof of state coming on board it more it actually incentivizes you to hold your coins, which in turn is going to make it actually more deflationary. So as that comes online, you're going to see Ethereum be a lot more inflationary, which is good news and a very bullish signal for me. Um, the other thing I look at, but but I take with a grain of salt, is the number of active addresses um, with Ethereum. The kind of way I look at this is that I don't really look at the peaks and valleys. I try to actually kind of get a kind of an average here, right? So if I try to find the point that has the most touches here right so if I go in I'm like all right I can see down here at around 500,000 or so that seems like an average on active addresses or Ethereum so when I'm judging and I'm looking at the on chain data I'm like is it above or below the actual average of actual addresses so when I look at it now if I say 500 or so thousand is my average and right now you know, it's sitting at 476 and we know that the price is down to like 1933 bucks right now trading under 2000 so it makes sense that it's below the average but it's not a lot below the average of 500,000 so I can see that people in the really Ethereum market aren't really panicking because you don't have a huge sell loss in active addresses inside of that right um, other than that um, I go down and I don't spend too much more time looking at the core on chain data besides looking at something that's very interesting with ethereum like the actual gas prices inside of here so if you guys look at this we can see a steadily decreasing gas price for ethereum so it's costing us less to make transactions on ethereum and that's great because that's showing that you know eip 1559 is going to make a difference um and a lot of the other layer two protocols are making a difference as well like optimizing a few of the others that are there to help lower those gas fees on chain so we're we're going to see that go down even more as eth progresses to eth 2.0 so speaking of eth 2.0 let's go ahead and look at it real quick and we're going to have a little look at the total value state on eth 2.0 here so we have a look at it if you can see that like it's steadily rising right and it, it was all the way down to hardly nothing back in 2020 and just in the small term it is rocketed let me look what was it yeah that's crazy so literally 11,000 back in December 2020 and now where are we sheesh yeah n now we've jumped up to over 6.2 million um, total value state which is great and a super bullish move when it comes to ETH 2.0 and what people think about Ethereum 2.0 and proof of stake and EIP 1559 and those things that are happening as well. You can see the validators. Validators are just miners in proof of stake. Those are the ones who validate the network and um, allow liquidity and those things as well. And they're incentivized to actually hold, which helps it remain deflationary, like I said before. Um, other than that there's not too much more to see i mean we can see some of the exchange data <laughs> i don't have like a paid plan or anything so i can't see like all of the latest but i know from looking at other sites that uh, the value on exchanges has dropped 
um, with ETH. So when I look at a metric like this, if I know that they have it, you know, off the exchanges or off hot wallets, if you will, people are looking to hodl it and they're not looking to sell. Um, last time I checked, it was going pretty low on a different account that I have. So that's just some very, very quick on-chain stuff. And we can even go look and look at the different addresses as well with our active youth addresses like we did before. Um, I won't spend too much time in this video. I just wanted to show you guys some very quick on-chain data and analysis. I wasn't supposed to be making a video today, but I really couldn't help myself because I've seen a lot of the Ethereum news. A lot of people are worrying about the price dropping down and holding below 2000. If you guys know, I'm not going to show the chart now, but we're at about 1880 for a critical support point for Ethereum. As long as we don't drop below that 1880 mark, we'll be fine. And based on on-chain data that I just showed you guys and everything else that's happening in the market and all the positive news that I'll report on later when I report like some of my top reasons why you should be buying more Ethereum right now in my next video, you'll see why you should be holding it now is a great time to buy guys think of these dips and these corrections like black friday jump on glass node look at your own chain data understand your own chain data and you won't panic and fomo when all the fud comes out when prices are jump are dropping in some of these in bitcoin and some of these altcoin guys but that was a real quick one for you so next time peace out this is your friendly neighborhood fud fighter guys i'll see you tomorrow peace